So it's coming to the end of winter here. And as you can see, getting really fat on all these carbs, getting huge, putting on so much weight. Over winter, put on a heap of weight. As you can see, the waist is filling out a lot there. Yeah, so carbs make you fat, as you can see, make you huge. And unlimited carbs, that is, unlimited fruit, rice, potatoes, pasta. Hey, group so we're at dinner and we're making minestrone soup, well, mum's making minestrone soup from scratch. Smells amazing. We're going to have some baked potatoes. It's going to be good. Right, mum? Yes. Yes. Everyone's <laughs> well behaved. Yes. <laughs> So, okay, we are going, like, I asked on Facebook, I went to Facebook, I said, Fruit Bats, what do you want to know from me? Ask me all your favorite questions. So I've got, I'm going to answer about five questions. If I answered them all, we'd be here forever. So it's just going to be really quick and in no particular order. I'm going to go to Scepter Penta. Hi, Scepter, I've seen you comment on my Facebook a fair bit. So Scepter's question is, it's hard to get most fruits in some places in the world during winter. What are some good options? Well, some good options. Number one would be dates, okay, dried fruit. Dates are fantastic. I mean, I've been basically living on dates during winter here in Adelaide. It's been vital. I don't know how I'd do it without dates. And then being mainly coming from California, which is kind of ironic, you know, we're in a country where we could have heaps of beautiful dates, but they're coming from California. But you do what you can in that situation. So I recommend getting the dates in because they're high in carbs, very satisfying, very good for you. And frozen fruit. Frozen fruit's a really good one as well. I actually wish I utilized frozen fruit a lot more during this winter, but next winter, well, hopefully I'm not going to have another cold winter. I'll be in like Thailand or somewhere tropical. But if you're somewhere like that, you can have, you know, frozen fruit. That's another good option. Frozen fruit, tin fruit. That was mum's suggestion. Oh, yes, tin fruit. Tin fruit? Yeah. Yep. It's a beautiful tin fruit in Australia. Yeah, tin fruit. Well, they might not be in Australia. This well, is in a cold place yeah. during winter. But, but there's a lot of, you know, most people can get tin fruit. I mean, th that is a good one. So dried, frozen, um, tin fruit is going to be the best options. And if all else fails, then have starches. If you have to, have starches, have rice. But I'm going to make raw till four work anywhere in the world. I don't care where I am. I'm going to make it work. And I believe that you can too if you really are dedicated and you want to badly enough. Did you mention the juices? The juices. The yeah. juices. Thanks, yeah. Mum. Mum. Juice. Yes, we have this juice. We bought these juices today. I've talked about these juices before. They're beautiful. They're from Lakewood Organic, not sponsored. That's me, not sponsored. Pure pineapple. It's got a bit of fiber in it. And the reason, I mean, juices are fantastic. But the reason I don't recommend them for every single meal is because they don't have the fiber and the fiber helps regulate your blood sugar levels. It's just very healthy for you, the guar, the pectin, healthy for your digestive tract. So I recommend you have whole fruit over juice. But if you're in a bind and you need that fructose, then get some juice into you, definitely. Like there's better juices to choose. There's like a, a scale, you know, orange juice is best because it has the fiber in it. So go for the orange juice, but if it's not ripe and it's tangy and gross, then get some good organic juice. So, Scepter, I hope that answers your question. Okay, moving on. I want to go through these fairly quickly so I can answer five without it being 20 minutes. Do you ever have any crazy cravings? If so, what are they for? This is from Tanya Vela. Tanya, I don't have any crazy cravings anymore because I'm carved up. I'm always carved up. I'm just, I'm so onto it. I mean, like, okay, sometimes I get undercarved, but... These days I am really, really, you know, focused on being carved up because I've spent years and years and years being undercarved and binging out like a mofo. Hi, Mum. Sure. <laughs> like I used to, oh gosh. I mean, I would have a whole chicken a day, like with this teriyaki sauce, sweet teriyaki sauce on it, and oh, it's just horrible, and whole blocks of chocolate, um, packets of biscuits, Mum. Oh, and... A whole bucket of ice cream. Whole bucket of ice cream. <laughs> there you go. I used to do that because I was under carbs so and much. So a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread with butter and honey. That used to be my thing. I remember that. It's crazy. But like because I'm carved up so much, you know, I'm, that's why I recommend over a thousand or you know aim for a thousand calories per meal because when you have that much fruit in one meal, you are satisfied until the next meal. You don't have this these crazy cravings controlling your mental state and controlling, you know. Just making you feel crazy. Frozen bananas are good because in frozen season, bananas, when yeah. you get them in season, you can freeze them and put them away for the lean times. There you go. There you go. Mama, Mama Duck is full of good ideas. So, 
yeah, I don't have these crazy cra cravings. Let's just say I'm undercarved or something. What does my brain go to when I'm really undercarved and I want something dense? Or maybe like uh, cliff bars or something. You know, that's something dense like that. I, I really enjoy, but I just, I don't get on the carb like that, so I don't have these crazy cravings, so I recommend that you carb the fuck up so you don't get those cravings anymore. Get that fruit in, so you don't have any fatty cravings too. Okay, so I'm rambling. Um, thanks for, do, 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 let me see. Um, oh, hang on a second. Oh, Ace asks, what are the differences you have noticed since coming from raw to cooked carbs? A few people have asked me this question, and Look, I don't, I haven't found a lot of difference. My energy's still good. I feel really good. I feel like I look just as good. I'm just as lean, maybe leaner. Um, I don't know what to say on that one. Like, I, I just feel like it's really good either way. I mean, 100% raw is ideal because I believe that we are designed to eat fruit. We are frugivores. So 100% raw fruits and greens is optimal. But, you know, if you don't live in a place where you can get the best quality fruits and greens all the time for every single meal then you do have to you know make some compromises here and there but this isn't really a compromise because I really look forward to having a cooked high carb dinner don't you mum? Yes. I really enjoy that. I really really enjoy that. I mean like I you know banana smoothie is great as well but sitting down for that rice or that pasta or the potatoes really works for me. Uh, what are, what are, your advice, um, Kitty Wagner asks, your advice on how to quit coffee. My advice is you got to carb up because if you go to coffee, if you go stimulants like caffeine, then it's because you're not getting enough sugar, enough fructose to your cells. So you need to get in that sugar so you are energized because that's why the brain sends us to these stimulants because we're not getting enough energy. We're not getting enough fuel to our cells. So you need to really fuel up. You need to carb up. And like this lifestyle is perfect for quitting coffee. I'm telling you, I used to have coffee every single day as a personal trainer. That was just part of my routine. Coffee in the morning, coffee in the morning, every single morning. And now, I mean, it's been so long. It's been, yeah, over eight years since I've had a coffee. And I just don't even think about it at all. And you'll find that as well. You might be in the grips of this caffeine addiction. But if you get in those bananas, get in the dates, Get in the mangoes, get in your favorite fruit, eat enough of it, you're not gonna go to the caffeine. So, carb the fuck up! That's my advice to get over caffeine. Um, there was a question here about teeth. Um, you know, how have your teeth been? Sorry, I can't find it. How have your teeth been on this lifestyle, on like all this fruit? Well, look, I have eaten more fruit than any other female on the planet over the last eight years. I am pretty confident of that one, okay? So if anyone can has tested fructose on their teeth, it's me, okay? And I, in that time, I've had one filling. One filling in nearly eight years. So I think that's an excellent testament to, you know, the fact that fruit is not rotting your teeth. It's not gonna rot your teeth, but people eat a whole lot of other food. They eat a whole lot of other stuff and they're like, oh, it must be the fruit. Don't blame the fruit. Fruit is the natural food for your physiology. You know, your body loves fruit. Fruit loves you. It's a perfect relationship. But when you bring in other food, foods that aren't meant to be in there, then you're going to start to get problems with your teeth. Dehydration, a high fat diet is very bad for teeth. Okay, so keep it low fat. Keep it vegan. Keep it high carb and... Don't be scared of fruit. And also look after your teeth as well. Don't stop brushing all together and stop flossing and everything like that. That's still part of any healthy teeth, you know, hygiene. You've got to still look after them. You do have to do that. I hope that answers. I think that's about it. That's going to be quite a long video as it is. So I hope that helped. If you have more questions, put them in the comments below or put them on this Facebook thread. I'm going to keep coming back to this thread and answering as many questions as I can. So Fruit Bats, we're going to get into this minestrone. And I will see, I'll show you a few photos of that soon. And yeah. So something I sometimes give Figsy is some tempeh. So let's see how she feels about the tempeh. Not good at all, Figsy. Oh, yes. Yes. All about the tempeh.
So, a bee stung me on the ass today. I feel really sorry for the bee because it lost its life because they lose their abdomen um, with the stinger into your, wherever they get you. So I got stung in the butt and look at it. It's just gone everywhere. It's just like irritated so much. All of this everywhere around there is bee sting and it's very, very itchy. Hopefully it calms down soon. Okay, so here we have the chunky minestrone soup. This looks very hearty because it's a bit of a cold night tonight, isn't it, Mumsy? It is. <laughs> Mumsy dear. Oh, hold well on. <laughs> Nothing left. Time to make this part of ourselves. Mm, yummy. Don't forget to go fruit yourself or root yourself. See you soon.